What's up guys, GaryDoSelf.dev. Today we are gonna go over how to add GitHub Copilot to VS Code and a quick little example of how to use it. So let's get going. First thing we're gonna do is open up our internet browser. I'm doing this incognito because I've already got GitHub Copilot. I've already signed up for it and paid for it. And I don't want my visual experience to differ from yours. So we're just gonna open up the internet browser and type in GitHub Copilot and click the first link that comes up here. And then that should you bring should bring you to the GitHub Copilot page. Um, it says free trial, like I said, it is, you, have, you do have to pay for it. It's $10 a month for individuals currently, but there's a two month free trial, I believe. So you'll just click that sign up for free trial link and then sign into your GitHub, follow these steps that come up here and you should be able to subscribe to GitHub Copilot. Uh, like I said, I think there's a two month free trial. If you want, you can just cancel it before that two months is up. Um, otherwise it's $10 a month for individuals. So once you've got that all signed up, you just need to go to VS Code. We're gonna go over to the extensions here on the right side or left side, depending on how you have your VS Code configured. In the search extensions in Marketplace, we're gonna type in GitHub Copilot. And the first one that comes up here should be GitHub Copilot. I uh, read the time I was recording this, it's got 4.4 million downloads. I've already got it installed, but you don't have it installed yet. So you should see a blue install button in this section here. Just click that and that will install GitHub Copilot to VS Code. Now, depending on what else you've got configured in VS Code, it might prompt you to connect to your GitHub. Do that because you need to connect to your GitHub. You need to like connect it to your account and then you should be go good to go as far as uh, getting GitHub Copilot set up. Sorry, just laughing at this thumbnail for the extension here. Anyway, once you've got it going, what we can do, I've got a file called testing.js pulled up here. And usually when you, what I like to do is I like to start with comments. So I just add a comment here and I would say, create a function that adds numbers. And that I spell function wrong, I did. Um, spelling, nope. Hold on, let's just double click this function. There we go, cool. And then we press enter, enter, and it automatically assumes we're gonna try to make a function call that adds two numbers together and it generates the first line of that. We press that and then it continues generating the function. So we can press tab again and it will generate the whole function. And then we've got a function called add numbers that does what our comment says, it adds numbers. And that's kind of what GitHub Copilot does. It uses OpenAI's predictive text technology and then GitHub as a data set and kind of predicts what you're gonna do next and assist you that way. If we press enter here, um, the first thing it tries to get us to do is export the function, but we could say, const um, sum and it just tries to do that but we want to make a function that subtract numbers yeah there we go and then it assumes since we were typing subtract it assumes we're going to make a function called subtract numbers that subtracts numbers that are passed into it so that's just like a basic little easy way to use it now let's go ahead and try to apply this to a problem from code wars we've got a problem this is level eight Caillou or KYU, don't know how to pronounce that. And it's telling us to get the, we get, we get an array of numbers passed in and we need to sum all of the positive ones. We need to ignore the negative numbers. If there's nothing to sum, the default sum is zero. So let's go back to VS Code here. And we're gonna say, create a function that sums an array of integers, but ignores all negative numbers. I'll press enter, and then it starts generating a function called sum array, and then let's generate this and see. So it's looping through the array here, and then it's saying if the array number is greater than zero, so if it's positive, then we want to add that to our sum, and then we're going to return it. So this is great. So we're just gonna copy that internal logic go back to Code Wars here, stick it here, and then test it and see what happens. And array is not defined because they're using R as the argument here. So we just need to adjust that. And now if we test again, it tested, it passed all the tests. We're gonna attempt it. 
and it passed all the actual tests. So that is awesome. GitHub Copilot basically just generated a function that solved the problem we needed here based on our code comment. That's kind of awesome. Now let's try to do um, generate a jest test for the function above. Does this work? So that would pass. And then let's also try to generate a test for the above function that includes negative numbers. And there we go. So it's got negative three in the array and it ignores that and prints it up or is expecting 11 because we would expect our function to ignore three, negative three, because it's negative and some of the rest of these and that would be 11. So those two tests should work as well. It's kind of awesome. But yeah, that is how you would get GitHub Copilot added to VS Code. If you have a different text editor, it should be in, I assume whatever text editor you're using has a way to add extensions. So if you just look for GitHub Copilot in those extensions um, or plugins or whatever, you should be able to add that to your text editor. So these are the text editors that GitHub Copilot currently works with, it looks like. Uh, Visual Studio, VS Code, NeoVim, and JetBrains IDE. If you're not using VS Code, I recommend switching to that one, um, assuming you're a front-end developer. So that's about it for this one. Let me know what your thoughts are on GitHub Copilot in the comments below. Very interested to see other people's takes on this. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, any video suggestions, anything like that, let me know in the comments below as well. If this helps you out or you think GitHub Copilot's cool, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all the stuff I'm putting out. And I think that's about it. So I will catch you guys next time. Peace. Round one.